Good morning, it's another day at my dad's house and I just realized that I haven't introduced you to the cats at my dad's house yet. How could I not do that? I love these cats. This is Cookie, by the way. Cookie is a drug addict. You can see he has all his pills right there and he always lays next to them because he never knows when he'll want his next fix. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Cookie actually used to be my cat um, and when I would come visit my dad on the weekends because my parents were di are divorced, I would bring Cookie with me each weekend and my dad ended up falling in love with him. And one year he asked if Cookie could just stay here for the winter and then after the winter was up my dad said, well... Cookie seems to really like it here, so why don't you just let him live here? You know, you'll still be able to see him. And so that's how Cookie ended up living here. But my dad takes really good care of him, and he's really happy here. My dad spoils his cats. Isn't that right, Cookie? And soon you're going to go to rehab. My dad is even paying for rehab for you. And this is Moonlight. She's mad that, she, that I made my dad grab her so she could be in a video. Moonlight. She's a little, she's a little weird in the head, <laughs> but she's really cute. She's obsessed with hair. She always rubs up on my head. So today I'm going to the zoo with my dad. With my daddy. I feel like I should have pigtails and be carrying a lollipop. <laughs> We're going to the Minnesota Zoo. There's a lot of school buses around, so I guess there's a field trip, or a bunch of kids are going on a field trip. Yes. Get a picture of the gibbon lot. Director Daddy back in action. <laughs> Okay, we are parked in the Gibbon lot. My dad said I better film it so we both remember. Buffaloes! And there's the IMAX theater. I don't think we'll have time to see an IMAX movie today though. Wolves. Here we go to the Minnesota Zoo. I have no idea when the last time I've been to a zoo was. I'm really excited. <laughs> I feel like a little kid again. We are in Discovery Bay where all the dolphins and sharks and fish are. The dolphins don't look like they're out right now, so I'm a little bit disappointed. I don't think I'll see any dolphins, but I still can check out all the other cool stuff they have around here. They have a tide pool over there. An aquarium. Which ones are your favorite? Look at those fish up there. I like their stupid face. What? Oh, a shark! Yay! He looks happy. You think the sharks ever accidentally eat any of the other fish in there? <laughs> they throw fish in there. They throw huh? stuff in there. They throw fish in there, so. I know, but what if they accidentally eat uh, at some of the other fish in the habitat? Well, then the other fish were too slow. Ooh, Dad, will you film me touching a sea anemone? Sure. I'd rather have it be my friend than my anemone. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm lame. I have to reach. things in here. Wait, are you supposed to pet these guys too? Shark mouth. Oh, it's a little lionfish. That one's tiny. Oh my gosh, look at that hermit crab. I didn't even notice that was a hermit crab. That's gigantic. That is the biggest hermit crab I've ever seen in my life. Pretty. Look at these weird seahorses that look like plants. Ooh. Oh, he's so cute. They actually, they look pretty magical, don't they? What? Oh, he's a little one. Hi, little seahorse. Baboons. That one's eating bugs. That would be fun to be a baboon just so that someone could eat bugs out of my hair. Oh, look, there's a baby! Oh, he's biting it. <laughs> Maybe he's giving the baby raspberries. Aww. 
That's so cute. <laughs> Put that baby in its place. Now he's leaving, leaving mom alone. Bye mom, he's running away from home. We don't have too much time at the zoo before it closes, so we're only gonna get a couple things in today. They actually have um, like a whole huge path outside that you can look at too, but we're just checking out the, the trails indoors and the Discovery Bay. We just took a monorail ride. We sat next to a guy who kept talking to himself. Tropics Trail, look at that. I feel like I'm really in the tropics. I don't know, that was tropical music I just made up. That was nothing like tropical music at all. <gasps> A golden tortoise. Yeah! Yeah! Whee! <sighs> My dad's like way more reserved than I am. So as he's out here vlogging with me, every time I'm acting a little goofy or crazy, he keeps shaking his head at me. Look at his hair. This monkey has such gorgeous hair. I just want to get a hairbrush and brush him and tell him all my secrets. Do you want to have a slumber party? Hi. He was like, she just invited us to a slumber party. <laughs> it's a Gibbons life. Here's Gibbon Island. And then they have ducks swimming around. Dad, what's your favorite kind of monkey? Or ape? No. Have you guys ever seen that um, internet video where that kid fell in the gorilla pen and the gorilla would, like protected the little kid and picked it up and brought it over to the zookeepers and was like, hey, this doesn't belong here. I think stories like that are really sweet. Shark coming back. I'm getting a little bit of a reflection on the water. I really, really enjoy looking at underwater stuff. Fish and aquariums and things like that. I think I would definitely love to have a Bala aquarium in my house someday. Oh, I like his nose. A Komodo dragon. What was that? Now we're in Asia. I was looking at the Komodo dragon and this guy started yelling at me. <laughs> yep. to get a cool smart bird someday like a parrot or a cockatiel and then I would teach it swear words my dad I told my dad that earlier and he told me I'm just ridiculous some boars so our little trip to the zoo was a lot of fun even though we only checked out a couple places in there and we didn't go to the outside parts of the zoo but I really love animals so I'm gonna have fun at the zoo no matter what <laughs> and it was really nice to spend time with my dad I don't know if any of you guys know anything about the Minnesota Zoo is there anyone out there from Minnesota but when I was younger they had a part of the zoo called the zoo lab and I thought it was the funnest most fun more fun. <laughs> Not sure how I'm supposed to say it, but it was the coolest thing ever. I think it was for little kids, but I don't care. I loved it. But you could go in there and they had a lot of the animals out and you could pet the animals. And I just thought that was so cool. But when we were there, I couldn't find this place. So I don't know if they got rid of it or what. But Minnesota Zoo, if you got rid of the zoo lab, shame on you. That place was awesome. But anyway, I just kind of wanted to wrap up this vlog and let you guys know that I love you and stay tuned for more vlogs. Mwah.